trail begins in a gravel parking lot just after entering the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest from the west. It's actually more like a glorified shoulder of Highway 2 than a parking lot. The trailhead is located on the west side of the parking area. An information kiosk is located about 20 feet up the trail, but there are no facilities, so make your pit stop prior to arrival. You'll notice two things as I'm hiking up here. One, I don't have my hiking poles. Two, the weather doesn't seem so bad. Well, I should have brought my hiking poles. And as you'll see later on, I ended up making myself a hiking stick because it was a little bit harder than I expected. And as you can see, there's some uh, hail there on the ground because it started hailing hard. And so yeah, jacket came on, cover went on the backpack, but it wasn't that bad and I just kept on going. It was a really nice hike and I didn't want to give it up just because of some hail. I had also lost my poncho on the way up. Not sure how, but fortunately somebody did find it and when I got back down to the bottom of the trail, they put it down by the kiosk at the start of the trail. So whoever did that, if you're seeing this video, thanks very much, I really appreciate it. If you're going along Highway 2 between East and Western Washington and you've got some time, I really recommend this hike. It's not that long, and the scenery is great, and of course the view once you get up to the watchtower is really worth it. The trail is a tranquil walk in the woods until right before you reach the lookout, where you are presented with a view of the mountains on the other side of the highway. You may be tempted to stay and soak in the views, but turn around and you will see the lookout. There are much better views from up there. There has been a lookout at this location since 1925, with each lookout getting a little taller. The latest improvements were done by the Everett Mountaineers. Thanks to them, hikers can reap the rewards of their hard work by climbing the 89 steps to a viewing area, where you can have a snack while enjoying the views of the valley. When the weather's good, unlike today, you'll be able to see Mount Persis and Mount Baring. You can also spot Bridal Veil Falls down the side of Mount Index on a good day. For those who might be a little nervous going up the stairs to the lookout, that's okay. There's a picnic table nearby that you can rest at. Just be sure to ask the rest of your group to take lots of pictures so you can enjoy the view from the lookout as well. If you'd like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and as always, my friends, I hope to see you out on the trails enjoying nature.